Hey guys, welcome back. Mass Effect 3, let's play. <clears throat> so, where are we on the Citadel? Trying to go to talk to the council. Council. But first, let's see what's on this floor. Diana Allers. Okay. Where is she? Oh, over here. But you're on the Norm What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview? Even better. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room. And this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Let's do a trial. Tell one. your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. So I got a new crewmate. It's a chick. Man. More asset acquired. Move out of the way. Let's see. What do we have on this floor? Come on. Open. Oh fuck. Okay. Mm, that seems to be all. Now let's go to the other floors. Run. Run! Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment. Let's go to the hospital. Visit our friend Ashley. See how she's doing. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Chuck was Dr. Michelle and Ashley. I don't think I'm gonna stop here and buy something first. Welcome to Serta. Let's buy some metal gel. Same flowers. How can we help you? Candy. Some books. All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Okay. I bought everything. Shopping. Let's see, someone else around here? Man, this VI really annoys me. Creepy VI. Hey, let's talk to Dr. Chakwas. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? Chakwas. I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How is she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander William's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. You belong on the Normandy. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. You never know. Now, let's see what you know. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. 
I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? Yep. How is Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital in the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Ooh, strange beams of light try to steal my soul. Patient stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. Narrow splint's still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required spatial bindings. Meet you back here. Let's see what's around here. Now, oh, just more people, more aliens. More boring aliens, Hi, more doctor. boring people. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out. Who the fuck is that? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? Understand it. It doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. That's gonna lay. That's gonna not nice. Having your leg removed below the knee. Ooh, shit. Now let's see, Doctor Michelle. What? I talked to her. Why is, isn't she disappeared from this list? Point of interest? Anyway, let's go to Ashley. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Made me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. You'll be fine. Nah. This is the renegade part. This is the paragon. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. You need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. See you soon. Can I see her again? They blocked the door? Why? What the fuck? Hey, motherfuckers. Well, this door opened. Why? Let's see. More boring people, more boring aliens that stand and what the fuck, this guy is standing on the ground. Hey, someone call a medic. They don't give a shit. You gotta run!
Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now let's see that you you Dina motherfucker. See how is it hanging? His mission and nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. Only he hasn't checked in for a while now. A month. Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course, ma'am. But the notes on his file state he's not under. Blah blah. So this is who's in there here. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Fuck you, lady. Damn press. See, so you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. Oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days... It's pretty damn close. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Trouble? <laughs> Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. Your promotion. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. When Palin resisted, I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. We both have jobs to do, Bailey. I suggest we do them. Yep. Good talking to you, Shepard. <laughs> this is the first time I'm talking to this guy. 
Commander Bailey. I never talked to him before. Man, the, these, this was a long talk. Hey, how's it hanging? Counselor, let's open the door. Commander, Counselor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Oh. We've got our own problems, Counselor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? <laughs> do you have a better plan? <laughs> I believe! Um, Liara believes it can work and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with you, Dina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate Damn. truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Yeah, you do that, Liara. Don't let me down. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. Uh, why? We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared. And we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Midorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Midorian undetected. Oh well, I'm gonna answer this counselor in the next video. You gotta stay tuned for that one. And uh, I warned you, no, I don't see how that helps me. I'm gonna see in the next video what can I choose. See you guys next time.